I welcome to part four of the network security introduction. In this part, I will talk about click fraud, paper install, and spam. I'll start with click fraud, and what is important to understand is that where we click is really an important part of internet economy. That is, for example, the case when it comes to search engines. So, so assume that I search for a particular word, let's say um, paper, and then afterwards I click on, on a specific link in Google. Then Google learns that, that for that search term, um, this link was a good choice. So if there is often that people, have, uh, that people are clicking on a specific link for a specific search word, that word will increase its, um, its visibility in Google, so it will become higher and higher. But assume I have a problem because I have some website that I would like to be associated with paper, but my website is on number page 17 in Google. Then one way of increasing it could be to have a lot of people, not only me, not only one, one traceable computer, but computers all over the world to search for paper and click on that specific link. And this is, this is what I can try to do with um, click fraud where, for example, a scripts of programs installed in clients all over the world are doing this, so it looks like a, a genuine behavior. Um, another, another case of click fraud uh, relates to advertisements like links um, or banners. Uh, so, for example, I could have a website where I have a number of banners, and every time someone is clicking one of my banners, I earn a specific amount of money. And if I can, if I can pay uh, or infect other computers, to visit my website and click on that banner, then, I, then that can be a business for me. So often this kind of click forward is performed by, by computers infected with um, malware or, or botware. Um, another kind of crime is paper install. Um, so let's say that a criminal might want to have a particular software malware installed on a number of computers belonging to other people. So it could, for example, be this kind of malware that is able to open a browser and click on a specific link, um, uh, but it, could, it can be many things. It can also be a small program that is creating bitcoins, or it could be a program that is uh, storing some data that you would like to have, have, have stored, but you don't want it on your own computer. Then by having it installed, your little program in a lot of computers all over the world, you could push your data to be there. Um, so paper install is really a business model where that a person can buy installations from a cyber criminal. So if I want these installs to be performed, then I would contact the cyber criminal and I would say, I would like my program to be installed in, let's say, 1,000 different computers, and then I will pay him per installation of my program. Again, botnets can be used for, for this kind of activity. Finally, there is spam, and I don't think spam needs much of an explanation. But it's important to understand that here also hijacked or infected computers can be used. If you're sending out spam, spam from a centralized machine, probabilities are very high that it will be blocked at some point. So if you can attack a machine and you can take over the control of that machine, then you can use it for sending spam at least for a while until it's blocked. Again, you can also use botware, botware for this. So thank you for listening and now it's time to take quiz number three.